Hi everyone, this is Ari from Palmieri Arts and Crafts. Today I am so excited to introduce this Love Me Not lace scarf. Last winter, I really wanted to make something for the upcoming spring. Whenever spring approaches, I always like to knit lace. But winter here is so long. Even on the Easter, it can be snowing. So I wanted to do lace pattern, but something heavy at the same time, so it will keep me warm. That's when I made this beautiful scarf. And I want to be transparent about this. The main pattern came from the Japanese lace stitch dictionary. Japanese stitches are so delicate and detailed. There are some Japanese knit stitch dictionaries published by Nihon Vogue, which are translated into English. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't seen one before. The book is absolutely gorgeous and it will give you so much inspiration. The link is listed down below. The construction of the pattern is very simple. Just like a regular scarf, it is going to be knit from the bottom all the way to up. The pattern itself is so beautiful and looks complex. So I really want it to have very simple edge. So I used slip stitch salvage to make these nice neat edges. You might think it is very complicated stitches made for advanced knitters, but actually it is constructed with very simple stitches like yarn over and knit two together. The six stitches cable could be hard on some people, but I will go over the stitch in this knit along video and also I have a detailed tutorial available for this cable stitch along with all other stitches used in this pattern. You can either click the pop-up card on the right corner of this screen, might be over here, or simply click the link in the description below. Because of the cable stitch, the test knitters rated this pattern easy to medium level. I used Cascade 220 Superwash. This is one of the most popular yarns I see in many yarn stores. It is 100% superwash wool, so you can still enjoy the benefit of the wool, but be able to machine wash and tumble dry for easy care. This yarn is in between DK and worsted weight. It's like light worsted. It is soft and gives beautiful stitch definitions. So I love using this for cable knitting. Another amazing fact is that this yarn comes in over 200 different shades. I use the colorway beige number 1926 for the finished scarf. For this video, I will use colorway number 289, a lovely light peach color, perfect for the spring season. And of course, you can use any similar weight yarn and your favorite color to make this scarf. To make this scarf, we need US size 7 4.5 mm needles or the size to obtain the gauge which is 22 stitches by 26 rows in 4 inch square using stock net stitch. But since the gauge is not critical to make a scarf, you don't have to stress so much about the gauge. Depending on your preference, we will also need one or two cable needles. I will talk about this later in this video and a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. I think we went over everything we need to know about this pattern, so let's get started. First, we are going to cast on 48 stitches using long tail cast on or your preferred method. We are going to slip the first stitch on every row to create neat edges. So slip the first stitch purl wise then knit to the end. On the wrong side, we are going to bring the working yarn forward before slipping the first stitch. This is written as slip with yarn in front, S-L-W-Y-I-F. This is a setup row. So we are going to do purl two, knit one, twice.
and then we are going to purl six times. And I did six, okay. So from here, it's going to be a pattern repeat. I am only doing once for the demonstration. So knit one, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit one, and purl six times. And you will be repeating this pattern once more, but I will be skipping that part. And knit one, purl two, knit one, and purl three. And done for the row two. So the last two rows were the establishing rows. Now we are moving on to the lace pattern. Row 1 through row 12 are established with basic stitches like knit, purl, yarn over, knit two together, and slip, slip, knit. If you are not familiar with a stitch, I have separate tutorials for each stitch for you. You can click the info cards or the link in the description. If I go over every single row, the video will be hours long. So I will only demonstrate row 1 and row 2 of the lace pattern to give you an idea of the workflow. And then move on to row 13 where the cable stitch takes place. So the first stitch is slip as if to purl, knit 2, purl 1, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And this is a pattern repeat from here, purl one, knit four, purl one, and knit two together. yarn over, knit one, purl two, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and you will be repeating this if you are following the pattern, but I am skipping the second repeat. Purl one, knit four, purl one, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, purl one, knit, knit three. Now we are on row two on the wrong side, so don't forget to bring the yarn in front before slipping the stitch. The wrong side is basically uh, purl the purl stitch and knit the knit stitches, but pay close attention because there are a few rows that doesn't apply. Okay, purl two. Knit one, purl three, knit one, purl four, knit one, purl three, Knit two, purl one, knit 
purl three, knit one, purl four, knit one, purl three, knit one, and purl three. Before we go on, if you are still enjoying this video, please hit like and also subscribe for future tutorials and knit along videos. On row 13, we are ready to cross these two sections using cable stitches. I also have a separate video if you want to watch the detailed tutorial of 2 over 2 over 2 cable stitches. So the first one is slip stitch, knit 5, purl 1, and from here I'm going to show you 2 separate way of knitting this cable stitch. So first bring these two stitches onto the first cable needle and then third and fourth stitch on the second cable needle and then work on the fifth and sixth stitch. Bring these two back onto the left needle or you can directly knit from the cable needle, whichever you prefer. I like to transfer them onto the left needle to work on it. And here I accidentally knitted these two stitches but these should be purl stitches. And then like I said, either transfer onto the left needle or directly knit from the cable needle, whichever you prefer. So knit these two stitches. So this is one way to knit this cable stitch with two cable needles. Purl one, knit six, And I think I lost count here, but I have six stitches and purl one. And I will show you how to do same cable stitch with one cable needle. So we are going to transfer first, second, third, and fourth stitches all on one cable. Leave it up front, work on fifth and sixth stitches and then transfer only two stitches onto the left needle work on these two stitches and then Transfer the last two stitches onto the left needle and then knit. And the rest is purl one, knit six. Just like that. From row 14 through row 26 are very similar to the first half, so I will skip those rows. On row 27, we are going to cross another section using the cable stitch. The direction of the cable stitch is different from row 13, so I will go over this row as well. So first, Stitch is to slip, knit two, purl one, knit 
purl one, knit two, purl one, knit six, purl one, and then from here I'm going to show you using two cable needles. So first two stitches onto the first cable needle, the third and fourth stitches onto the second cable needle, and then work on the fifth and sixth stitches, which is a knit stitch and then transfer the third and fourth stitches back onto the left needle purl these stitches and then last stitches uh, either knit from the cable needle or transfer back onto the left needle and then knit And let me show you how to do this with one cable needle. So you're going to transfer four stitches all at once onto the cable needle. And then work on the fifth and sixth stitches transfer only two stitches from the cable needle to the left needle and then purl these stitches then work on those two stitches so knit these stitches then purl one knit six par one knit two par one knit three and keep repeating these rows, you will have a beautiful scarf of your own. I hope you enjoyed knitting this scarf. If you made any modification, please let me know in the comment below what you have done and how the project turned out. If you like to share the project picture, please share on the Instagram and tag me Palmary Knits or Palmary Arts and Crafts you should be able to find me or Ravelry pattern page on the project column. Thank you so much for watching. Happy knitting. Bye bye.